Hello, it's me. I'm back. Yup. It happens now and again. Um, I decided that I would have a look at the stuff that comes in in my email. First, I get a lot of advertisements for stuff that is really, it just gets crowded in there. Some of the advertisements do set off an issue I have with controlling my buying. I've had this issue for a long time. And I've dealt with it for a long time. Looking at all the stuff that's constantly showing up in my email makes it more difficult. It just does. And I have enough trouble with a little tiny budget as it is because I used to work. I used to have my own income. I could, you know, blow a few bucks. But I also realized how far off into the ozone I got with that. So there's a reason I don't have a bunch of stuff. When I first got started in this, I started having that, oh, but I have to have, oh, but I have to have, because I was thinking about reviews. And I'm going, I don't have the availability of funds to do that. So I had to start changing how I was doing things. Oh, by the way, this look is look one out of the one palette, three looks, or three looks, one palette, however you want to say it. And I'm using the Stay Fabulous palette. Now, this is an inexpensive palette, but because Angie from 4F Beauty closes her videos with Stay Fabulous. I saw this one. It's made by Amore. Uh, excuse me, Amore Us. And I saw it and I said, she's always saying Stay Fabulous. I just, it was five bucks. I had to have it. Anyway, there's look one. And yes, I have gigantor lashes on. It was a thing. Had to do the thing. Now, I went through my emails for just one day. And the sales and the announcements and all that were just almost scary the way they try to get you to buy stuff. I had one from Shein that starts off with last six hours Free sale, free shipping at, on, at only $29. The only. Mm -hmm. Flash sale starting at $5.99. Starting at, remember that, starting at $5.99. Plus 12th anniversary lucky draw. Now, Shein, you might as well be buying from AliExpress. Because that's what it is. It's all stuff from AliExpress. Which means it's pretty much crap. The stuff falls apart. It's Asian sizing, which means you can't figure it out. And let me tell you, if you happen to be a woman of size and you've got arms, they don't make those sleeves anywhere near even in the larger sizes. If it's a straight sleeve with no stretch, this pooch ain't going in there. It just ain't. For those of you who don't know, I started losing weight when I hit 450 pounds or thereabouts. Um, and I'm now under 300. And you know, you work to lose weight because it's supposed to be healthy for you. But let me tell you, when I weighed the heavier weight, this arm was smooth. Okay, yeah, it was big, but it was smooth. There wasn't all this flappity stuff. I ain't going to tell you where all the rest of the flappity stuff is either. <clears throat> no. Anyway, I have now unsubscribed from Shein. Just fab. Boots and shoes. That is another one of my hang-ups. 
Oops. I, 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 I am a shoe person. I've had to get over part of being a shoe person because my legs and ankles will no longer allow me to do all those gorgeous heels. Yeah, not happening. Now, Just Fab has this really cool hook where you can get your first pair for 10 bucks. But if you want that first pair for 10 bucks, you have to sign up for their VIP club. And that pooch is 40 bucks a month, whether you're getting shoes or not. 40 bucks a month. You can tell them, if you tell them in time, if you remember to, to contact them before the date they charge your card, you can tell them, not this month, if you remember in time. You can, you know, do the skip a month thing. And normally, if you contact them in time, you get to pick the shoes. Otherwise, they'll pick something from your, like, so they, they call it a boutique. And basically, it's suggested shoes based on prior purchases and your profile information. Shoes and boots. And yeah, so much for that. I am subscribed. If I really want to see this stuff, I know where the websites are. I don't need this stuff popping up in my email waving the FOMO under my nose. Thank you anyway. Romans. For anyone who doesn't know, this is a mail order mostly shop for women of size. Now, they have a relatively low total you have to get to for free shipping. And they're shipping is almost 15 bucks. So, yeah, it, it, it's worth it to maybe drop another dollar or two to get over that mark if you're close anyway. Problem. If there if the item is on a sale, clearance, discount, whatever, it doesn't really qualify as part of the free shipping deal. You have to be buying a full price item that puts you over. So, you know, it's not really, I think that's rude. You know, so you're trying to pick up stuff that's on sale, but none of that goes towards the free shipping thing. None of it. And they've got an, an alliance with Ebates, which is now Rakuten. And... If you've got something that's on special or something you're trying to get to build up your your free shipping stuff, Rakuten actually can bollocks that up. So it's not fun. So I have now unsubbed from the Romans. Poshmark. Poshmark is one of them FOMO things for cereal, all right? Just, mm. Because they're selling stuff that you may have already missed and whined about. So, yeah, they're reselling stuff that somebody's used a little bit or just never even opened. But some of this is stuff that you've missed out on because you didn't have the money back then. Now, I have, now this is another one of my hang-ups, I have a thing for Etienne Agner bags. Okay? Okay. I love them. They is my favorite thing. Don't talk to me about Coach. Don't talk to me about any of these other designers. Agner is my go-to. Poshmark, on a regular basis, has quite a bit of Etienne Agner in bags and other accessories and that kind of thing. 
And if I find a really good deal, I bite my lip and pray that I'm going to be able to pick it up. I can't always. But once you buy something from Poshmark, they keep waving similar items under your nose. They tell you every time somebody's put up new of whatever. They tell you every time somebody's doing a special offer because if you like an item, you know, click the little heart and like an item. The seller will often offer everybody who's clicked like a special shipping deal with reduced shipping and reduced price and that kind of thing. And I'm going, dude, I'm already out of budget. I have bought everything I can buy until the next time I get a shopping day. Stop. Just quit. So I have had to unsubscribe because they keep running at your bags. Agner shoes are also one of my favorite things, so, yeah. Shopping addiction is serious stuff. You can end up in debt. You can end up tearing apart relationships because you go so far into debt. I mean, you hide stuff. You you know, try to find ways to buy stuff when you really don't have the wherewithal to buy stuff. In some cases, you can go into a store and look around and you can't leave without buying something. Even at Dollar Tree. I mean, at least Dollar Tree. If I can't get out the door without buying something, I can grab a soda on the way out. And it didn't used to be that light. It used to be a lot worse. And yeah, it it's not pretty. It goes along with some of my other mental health issues. Bipolar is not pretty, especially if you're not medicated. Yes, I am on brain meds. Yes, my brain chemicals do not function correctly, or I do not have enough of them, or I have too much of them. So I am on bought brain chemicals that level all that crap out. No, I am not ashamed of it. I'm not proud of it, but I'm not ashamed of it either. It's just the way it is. Anyway, Poshmark, I know where they are. If I want to go looking for stuff, I have unsubscribed from the names. Number seven, cosmetics. I was curious about number seven because I keep hearing about it. And there's all these, these combos and sales of samples. And it's like, yeah, yeah. the stuff looks reasonable. But for me, Number seven is out of either Britain or Europe. I'm not sure exactly where, but it's over the pond. Which means I'm dealing with exchange rate and longer shipping and larger shipping fees. Um, now, they have this thing where their free shipping starts at... 25 bucks. But if you drop another five bucks and go to $30 with your purchase, you get three samples. Ooh. Take it to 40, you get four samples. Free. Free samples. Uh, that's another one of those, those here. It's only another five and it's free samples. Go look at the free samples. It's little squeeze packets of some stuff. It's not like it's like even a mini mascara. It's squeeze packets of stuff. Or as they say, because they don't use the word packet, they use sachet. 
I'm going to, yep, that's somewhere across the pond. I have unsubscribed from their emails. Woman Within. Now that's another one of those women of size ordering groups. The thing is, though, Woman Within is in the same retail group as Romans. They're, you get the same price issues, the same shipping and, and discount issues. They're all part of the same company, kind of like Lane Bryant and Catherine's and you know, all that. I have unsubscribed from their emails. Flower Beauty. Flower Beauty doesn't really send me a lot of emails, so it's not like, you know, piled up every day. Most of the ones that I started with are, th are ones that come in constantly. I am constantly going through, going, get out, get out, get out, get out. Flower Beauty is not quite that bad. I'm keeping the subscription for their email only because they really only send something to me if they've got a new release, a real one. But I prefer to go to a store that's got it so I can see stuff. Alrighty. Peachy Queen. Peachy Queen has been up my nose sending stuff. Now, Peachy Queen may or may not be okay for me. I don't know. I've never tried it. It doesn't really appeal to me very much. I mean, when the very 1990 kid um, palette started going around, 90s baby or something like that, and they're going, were you Ashley or Mary Kate? And I'm going, who? And then you're looking at that 90s baby is a 12 pan palette, two mats, two. Don't hurt yourself now. It's a whole two. And then I was looking at one of the other ones that they were showing, and it's Kush Queen. Now, some people get a little annoyed about, you know, things that are re being referred back to cannabis. I actually use cannabis for my fibro, and I am very, very, very happy that this state has a legal availability. Now, that one is a little better balanced on glitters, and shimmers, and mats. A little better. The pumpkin spice. Yeah. I looked at the pumpkin spice palette and I'm going, how much of the cannabis did you partake of before you decided on that color story? It just... It just, yeah, no. And some of the other stuff that I saw, it's like the mats to shimmer. No, it ain't right. It ain't balanced. So I have now unsubscribed from Peachy Queen. And yes, I know where the site is. I know where their website is. I know what, you know, what they're offering. But I'm... I was looking and going, you know, prices. Not so much. Just, no, not so much. Alrighty. Elf. I love Elf. I really do. I love Elf. Elf is good. Until they start pushing the holiday sets. October 1st. Right there in the inbox. Holiday sets. I am not always thrilled with the elf holiday sets. Now, they did originally have free shipping starting at like 25. They not so long ago dropped it down to 15. I am very appreciative of that. 
but they're one of the companies that now that they have Afterpay will remind you with the play now, pay later routine. And it's like, yeah, they keep reminding you that it's really, really easy to wreck your budget one payment at a time. Now, because I use Elf a lot, um, I'm, I'm not unsubscribing. I probably actually should, but I'm not unsubscribing because, I mean, I use the foundation and the powder and a lot of my other stuff is all e.l.f. and some of my favorite um, small palettes like the mini bites and that kind of stuff is my favorite stuff. But yeah, I yeah, pushing the holiday sets and pushing Afterpay on the nerve. BH Cosmetics. They currently have an email ad running around about this must-have Halloween limited edition set. One of the things that drives me absolutely bug nuts is that it's a flasher. I hate those. I hate them with a passion. I really do. And I'm going, really? And you want how much for this? I mean, we have black and red brushes, bag. The packaging for the stuff is black and red and it's like the color story in the eye palette just doesn't say Halloween to me and just because it's in a black and red package doesn't make it Halloween nope and it looks like they've got either a um lipstick palette with like several little widgets in it and I'm, I hate those. I hate those with a passion. I mean, they are not something you want to stick in your handbag to go out partying. If it gets warm, that stuff is going to melt all over the inside of your bag. Ew. I don't want to take six lipsticks that I have to have a brush for. No. Usually, if I'm going out like that, I want a little bitty bag, something big enough for my cotton picking ID and the card of the evening. And maybe a little cash to go throw at people for tipping if, if it's in a situation where, you know, like you're stuck with valet parking. It's like, you know, I'll slip the guy a little change, that kind of thing. And I'm going, I have not heard the greatest things about BH brushes. They've got a, a small set, small eye set with red handles and black bristles. That does not say Halloween to me. That just says red and black. I know, they're trying to go for this goth thing, but it... I'm like, no, I just, I don't see a color scheme in the palette for the eyeshadows that says Halloween. I don't see anything special about their um, lip palette. So I didn't even go to the website to look. I just went down to the bottom of the email and unsubscribe don't send flashing notifications Just quick way to a headache guys okay Midas Cosmetics excuse me a little water now the CEO Rocio Nunez 
is announcing inclusive shading in pastel colors. Now, I looked at this. There is a palette of pastel shades, but they're more intensely colored for people who have deeper skin tones. And then there's the lighter version of the same shades for people with lighter skin tones. And I'm looking at both of them, and they're gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going, hey. And it's like nobody's stopping you from buying either other one. It's just she made sure that there was color levels appropriate to the different skin tones. So I'm like going, hey, and not only do I like the idea that Smoky Glow is with Midas for collaboration, not that I can afford it, but, you know, it's, it's, they're not obnoxious about their, their email list. They really aren't. So I'm like, I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that. I've had... One or two Midas pieces. My nose is itchy. One or two Midas pieces from some of the subscription boxes. Normally I only get Ipsy. I've stopped getting Ipsy. I'm getting Allure. I got my first Allure box today. I was in love. Um, Ipsy was just getting on my nerves with some of the stuff. And it Shroud Cosmetics. Now, I really hadn't heard about Shroud Cosmetics until one of my favorite YouTubers to follow, Mute Bean, announced that she, in fact, has a collaboration with Shroud. If you haven't seen Mute Bean, the link will be in the description box. Go do this. Go do this. Okay? Okay. It's the, the, the palette is called It's Freaking Bats. And it is gorgeous. And I'm crossing my fingers that it will still be available at the next point that I've got a couple of bucks. We will hope. We will see. But that's the first I heard about Shroud, and I went and looked, and oh my god, their stuff is gorgeous. So, I put in a subscription for the email announcements. We'll see how that one goes, as long as they're not driving me crazy. The thing that's really, really spiff about Shroud and Butte Bean, I mean, Butte Bean has been on the tube for a while. But unlike Smoky Glow and Raw Beauty Christie, who have got big, big numbers, Butte Bean hasn't gotten to 20K yet. She's getting there. It's close. But she hasn't gotten to 20K yet. Shroud is a one-woman operation. She does it all herself. So having a micro-indie Working with what is considered a micro YouTuber just makes my little heart go pitter pat. It makes me think that there's a chance that if I ever get over a thousand viewers, that it might eventually build up. That first thousand is a stone bomb to try to get. GLF Cosmetics. Really, really, really few emails. They're not spammy. Their current offering that they sent emails about is loose neon pigments. I absolutely adore their Azteca collections. The company itself started literally in one of the co-founders dorm rooms in college. So we're talking about really, really starting off small. And that was Giselle. And her life partner, Mark, got involved and decided that this was a good thing. 
And part of their, their idea behind this, they've got a slogan, which is culture, quality, innovation. Giselle is from Mexico. Mark is from Haiti. They got moved by their families to the U.S. and they met in school. Now, the Azteca collection, oh my God, the pigments are gorgeous, at least in the images I've seen. I haven't laid hands to one yet. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm keeping my subscription to their email because I believe that this is another one of those up-and-coming indie brands that's that's got some tooth behind it. It's got great products from everything that I've heard other people say. And, I mean, how much more just down-to-earth do you need to be than thinking about your home cultures and bringing that as part of your aesthetic? I think it's great. I like indie brands. I really do. Now this one looked brand new to me. I don't know where it came from. I don't know how it got in my email box. It has to have been somebody who purchased a, a email list from somebody. It's called Unique Beauty. E-U-N-I-Q-U-E Beauty. Now, this is a UK-based small company. They're currently mostly eyeshadows, which is kind of common. Um, they are definitely targeted towards deeper skin tones. All of their models are deeper skin tones. But oh my God, if nothing else, you have to go look this up. They're currently doing what they're calling the Black Pound Sale. They have incredible, incredible colors. Absolutely just amazing colors. And you can get them all as singles. Now, granted, everything is either a shimmer or a glitter or something like that. The, the way they had it was shimmer and foil. And, ah, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous deep pigments. And I'm looking at this and going, it's, when, you just, when you say jewel tone, we are talking a serious case of jewel tone. They've got some in, like, five and six pan mini sets that are theme grouped, you know, like, you know, greens and blues and that kind of thing that they've got named for their theme. And then they're quote-unquote medium palette is a 24 pan magnetic that you can then just like load up and I'm going hey I yeah, foils and glitters yep foils and glitters is their their thing it's like you know I look like uncooked chicken under this okay we're talking about drugstore pricing for individual eyeshadows that even with my pale skin, I would be falling over myself to get to them. The only thing is, like I said, it's across the pond. It'll take a minute to get here. I am really, really glad it landed in my email because this looks spectacular it really does the colors are so rich gorgeous and then we have i kate house it's a low-cost multi-brand seller it's kind of like some of the other places like Shop Miss A in their general makeup stuff where you've got things, you know, like Amuse or Malibu Blitz and 
that kind of thing, or Santee. This is not really a big deal because they're they're much more expensive than AOA Studio Shop Missa for the same kind of thing. Now they do have a few palettes that are bigger than Shop Missa normally carries, but it's just they send out lots and lots of emails for stuff I can definitely do without, and it doesn't even cross my mind to not try to do without it. So that one's an unsub. Again, we have another somebody who must have bought a mailing list, Avon. I haven't touched Avon since my granny bought it. Okay? Okay. I have been allergic to everything they have ever done. Everything. And I'm like, no, no. Uh, Multi-level marketing. No. Unsubscribed from that email. Okay. Nika K. N-I-C-K-A. K. Now, I have bought some stuff from Nika K. I have bought some stuff. This one, is Lime. And this one is, it says Sea Green. I think it looks almost more like moss. I don't know. Anyway, I like these, but we're talking about $4 lipsticks, okay? I like them. I like the colors. They're fun to play with. For the most part, the merchandise looks like a private label, inexpensive. And yeah, the, the price points make it real easy to afford them, but it's kind of a, one of those, it's up to you if you really want to go for it, but I've seen similar eyeshadow palettes that are like really chalky or you know, just really dusty, doesn't have any real payoff. Like I said, I love the lipsticks, but it's, it's definitely looking like a private label, low-end, Kind of thing. So yeah, it's, I've got an account with them. Obviously, I bought, but I'm shutting down the email. Koki, K O K I E. The emails are fairly rare. But since Rite Aid in this town carries the Koki line, I, I go check at the store to see what's up. Yes, the camera is shaking a bit because, yes, we're that close to the train tracks. Sorry. Um, there's not really a lot of difference between looking at their website and looking at the store. So I have unsubbed from the Koki email because it just I like the Koki stuff. I have picked up several bits of the Koki stuff. One of my favorite small palettes is their one of their artistry hard case palettes and it's called Peachy Queen. I love that palette, but it's also like dang near this palette. They're almost identical. There's not really anything in the email or on the site that's not in the store. And at this point, that's one of the few places I can go. 
with my little mask on and not be too hassled by anybody. For the most part, they behave themselves. You know, in the, in the pharmacy, most of the people behave themselves pretty well. Some of them are still being weird, even though we're up to 90 cases in town. Hi. Anyway, look one. Yes, you'll get still pictures when I do the rest of it. Stay fabulous. Much, many pink. I still think I can get three looks out of it. I've got, I got my first Allure box today. And the thing that surprised me the most about the Allure box was it was a much nicer presentation than Ipsy. There were really nice, interesting things in the basic box. Unlike having to get that, I tried one Ipsy that was the mid-level which got me some interesting stuff, but this is the base um, Allure box. It's 15 bucks a month. I got Elemis Cleansing Balm, and I got this little puppy, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow. Talk about some decent highlighters. Now, I've tried a few things from such high-end places as Anastasia because either somebody has gifted it to me or it was in an exchange or there was at least a small something or other in a subscription box. But this is a full-size palette. For this thing. And let me tell you, I've been swatching. <laughs> I've been swatching. And currently, I've got the pink heart down here, right here, on these cheeks and on the tip of my itty bitty nose. I think it's delightful. I appreciate that they sent. Some really nice full size things. Some of it is like not very large. I mean, I got one face mask and I'm going, I'm good with it. But yep, that's how the things are. I've got my, started some more of my Halloween decoration and fall decoration and silly things like that. So much fun. Anyway, tell me what you think. Let me know. And then at some point, when I post up the other two looks and do the whole shmia, we'll see what goes on then. I may do some more emails. Let me know what you think of that idea. It's like I thought about the anti haul things, but everybody and their uncle is doing anti hauls. And it's not like I'm somebody who has tried all of these formulas or all of these companies. And it's not like I'm somebody who would normally go out and buy a release from a high-end company, whether I thought it was good or not. You know, I get intrigued by high-end companies, but I don't budget myself there. I get high-end stuff this way, you know, exchanges or like with the Charlotte Tilbury stuff that I've got where I want to give away, the Natasha Denona piece that I have that I want to give away, um, subscription box. That's where all my high-end comes from. So doing a standard anti-haul is really a bit disingenuous from 
my point of view for me to do because I'm not going to buy it. I wouldn't buy it anyway, even if I thought it sounded interesting. So, you know, doing stuff about what hits my inbox seemed to be a different way to go. And, and, and to talk about the way some of the advertisements are set up specifically to hit the FOMO. If you don't know what FOMO is, that's fear of, of missing out. And a lot of people end up getting hung up on being afraid they're going to miss out on the next big thing, the next big trend in makeup. And it's like, okay, but it's makeup. It's not worth wrecking your budget for. It's not going to end the world if you don't have every last bit of a collection. And if you find yourself being concerned about missing out and possibly pushing your budget over the line to try and keep up, and you haven't done so already, may want to consider talking to a counselor because it can tear up everything. It really can. My husband, whose birthday it is today, has put up with a lot and helped me quite a bit and get control of stuff. So has my counselor, and so has getting myself medicated to cover some stuff, getting my bipolar under control. And yeah, I'm dropping emails from companies that trip my trigger for must have, must have, must have. Now, I'm not the only one on YouTube who talks about this. And it's pretty much a standard addiction. It's like gambling or alcohol or anything else. You get an endorphin rush from purchasing. And that's very addictive. You get an endorphin rush from having the new thing. You get an endorphin rush from opening all the new stuff. Even if you're never going to use it, you've, you've got it. You've collected it. You've bought it. It's yours. Maybe you can't pay the electric bill this month because you bought it. It's yours. But that doesn't always figure in when you're in the moment. It can be a trigger to go out shopping with your friends who have more disposable income. If you're having a problem, check the description box below. There are information numbers down there that may help you out. Am I ashamed? Sometimes. I'd be more ashamed if I never did anything to try and help myself. You can get help. It can be done. Yeah, I know. I'm doing the downer. Sometimes it's the thing. If the emails are building up and trying to trigger you, ditch them. It's something you can do as a positive step for yourself. If you need help, ask. Take care of yourself.
Thank you.